Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shelby, and today I am going to attempt to make a beautiful evening clutch. I was walking through the craft store and I found one of those things. You know, they're like the square mesh things. I think they're for like cross hatching or embroidering or something like that. I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, you will when you see it. Anyway, you definitely will when you see it. I'm just explaining it horribly and don't actually know the name of it. But I saw one of those, just like a rectangular sheet and for whatever reason, my brain was like, you can make a purse out of that. So that is what I'm going to be attempting today. I'm really excited about it. I found some beautiful fabric that if it works, it's gonna be a gorgeous, gorgeous evening clutch. So I'm really excited about it. Hopefully it works out. Stay tuned to find out. I'll link everything you need along with my socials down in the description and let's get into it. So this is the fabric I've chosen for this project. It's a beautiful blue brocade with some shiny metallic gold uh, patterns running through it. So this is my rectangle of fabric. I decided which way I wanted the pattern to go and I cut it that way. And basically what I'm going to do is take my E6000 and glue my fabric to the inside track. That's gonna be step number two. And then fold the fabric over on itself once it's glued so that it stays. I left myself a rather large area so it'll kind of self-line the inside of the purse, which is what I'm going for so I don't have to put a liner in there and this plastic won't be showing. So I have all my glue down. I folded one side over. That's essentially what I'm gonna do with all of the sides until I just am left with a blue rectangle. And I now have a blue rectangle that I'm going to let dry overnight. Okay, so checking in on the purse, everything's all laid out nice and smooth. Some of the magazines I stacked on top of it to dry did go through and get stuck to the glue because I guess I put it on too thick and it came through the fabric a little bit. But this is the inside, so it's okay. Now I'm just going to glue here and here, flip it over so it's the correct shape. All right, so glued together, general clutch shape, looking awesome. I gotta add the hardware, but this is looking really good. So this is the hardware that I have to close the purse. One side's gonna go on one side, one side's gonna go on the other. It's basically um, just like a little grommet. Um, you turn like that, I think that'll be cute. I think it'll go with it. So I'm going to be punching holes in the fabric to attach this next. So this is where we're at so far. You can see this side is kind of held together with the glue, it's already got that lovely clutch shape, so now I'm just going to be putting the hardware on it. Because right now it just kind of opens like that, and I want it to stay closed by itself. Okay, not going to lie, adding this was a little bit more difficult than I was thinking. Um, it's actually in the other side, so I basically punched the, the a hole through, but didn't break the back, which was tough, and then pulled the prongs together to secure it, so you can kind of feel the metal right there, I don't know if you can see it, but you can feel it right there. Um, and then I basically just pushed down really far on the front and sawed away at it with my scissors. So this is a very rough hole that like barely fits it. Um, but now I'm going to fasten these and basically how this works is you just put one on the back, one on the front, and then use the little holes it comes with the screws, you just screw it down tight. So that is what I will be doing right there, and I'll show you the finished finished result. So you can maybe tell from the carnage, but I have been working on getting this hole a little bit better. It goes in and out pretty easily now. This is gonna be the front, that's what it's gonna look like, but I need to screw it on, so I'm gonna put the back one on, cinch it down, and that's where I need my screw holes. So now I'm going to poke those through with this on the front so that I'll be able to attach it. Oh my god, it worked! This is seriously the coolest thing. I am so impressed with myself right now. It turned out awesome. I'm zoomed in on purpose. I'm going to do a final reveal in just a moment. Okay guys, you ready for the big reveal? It turned out awesome! Super, super, super cute. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. This is seriously the coolest thing ever. So it opens like that and then everything goes in. I'm gonna show you the inside. The inside's not as great as the outside because if you'll remember, the um, fabric didn't completely cover the mesh thing so you can see it in there a little bit. But that like honestly doesn't even bother me. Nobody looks at the inside of your purse anyway. That's just weird. Um, and if it does bother me, I can just stick more fabric down there or next time just use a longer piece of fabric to begin with. Um, you can see it closes just like that. So, so. Oops, <laughs> so cool. So that's the back. Nice and shiny and pretty. I love this fabric, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, 
sides are just like a nice clean. But yeah, so this is perfect for an evening. Um, I'll pop some pictures up, but yeah, your phone would fit in this, your keys, whatever. It's um, it's thinner, like it's it's a thin purse. It's one of it's an evening clutch, like they're thin, um, but there is a fair amount of room in there. So I'm super excited. I think this is awesome. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I'm pleased that it did turn out because I kind of went into this with a vague notion. But I will list everything you need down in the description along with my socials. Hopefully you guys loved it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye.